So one of the things with the sharp value proposition, we, we sometimes use a term in our work, we call it a competitive edge. And the inspiration of that is the, the, most, the most aptly named athlete in the world is Usain Bolt, right? Fastest man alive. And uh, when you look at his races, he runs against the fastest men in the world. And he wins consistently, but he only wins by, you know, fractions of a second, you know, you know, literally in the hundreds of a second, yeah. but he wins consistently. Now, what's interesting about it, when you see after he wins, whether it's the Olympics or the world track or whatever, he, when he stands on the dais, they give him the entire gold medal. They don't say, listen, you only won by a little bit. So we're only going to give you a little bit of the gold medal. They get the whole gold medal and sales and marketing is the same thing. At the end of the day, uh, the second place, th this is the phone call the second place competitor on a, on a three bid gets. Man, we, you were really good. We, we almost picked you, but it was just fill in the blanks. And that salesperson, that marketing team, that business development team, they get exactly zero for their efforts at that point. They got nothing. The winner got all of it, even if they only won by a little bit. So when we get into very competitive markets, we look at value propositions as the slightest tiebreakers, if they're highly competitive markets, if you're in a very tight space, even the smallest tiebreakers that you can apply consistently. So again, I have a better understanding of my target customer. I have a better understanding of their problem. And I can explain to them how I'm going to solve their problem in a way, in a different way that's meaningful to them. So the, that's the other thing we talk about. The mm -hmm. difference in your value proposition can't just be strange. So you know, so uh, I'm the only coach consultant, growth, growth coach consultant that shows up to your office wearing a top hat. No one else will show up in a top hat. Well, that has no value to the customer. It's, it's entertaining, but I'm not being hired as a comedian. So you have to find a